Let's set up Bybit. Click the button below this video to open up the sign up screen. Click the sign up button and then fill out your information. Click continue and verify your email. You'll then be taken to the Bybit dashboard. At the top right, under the account menu, click the API link. We then need to create a new key, but first, Bybit will ask us to set up Google two-factor authentication. Click confirm, scroll down, and find Google two-factor. Click settings, and click the send verification code link to the right of the boxes. Once you've clicked that, an email will be sent to you. Check your email. Get the code, copy it, you can paste it, and click confirm. You then need to download the Google Authenticator app on Android or iOS if you haven't already. Once you have that downloaded, click the plus button, select scan a QR code, and then you can scan this QR code and then you'll see a number pop up. You can type this number in the box down here. So we'll type this in. And it'll ask us to log in again. It'll ask us for our uh, number one more time. And now we're signed back in. We can then click API management and we can click the create new key button. We then want to select connect to third party applications and we want to search for trade lab. When it comes to permissions, it's always up to you. If you plan to do contract trading, you'll probably want to select orders and permissions so that we can both place orders and track your positions for you. If you plan to do spot trading, you'll want to click the trade um, under spot. Wallet, we do not need account transfer and we do not need sub account transfer. So don't worry about those. Once you have that selected, you can click the submit button at the top right. And you can enter your Google two-factor authentication one more time. You'll then be shown your API keys for Bybit. We'll want to insert these into TradeLab so that TradeLab can send trades to Bybit automatically. We'll want to do this immediately as you'll only be shown these API keys once. So let's go back to TradeLab to the Exchange Setup screen. On the right-hand side, we'll search for Bybit and select it in the list. We'll then want to set a nickname for this exchange. You can have multiple exchanges and sometimes have multiple of the same exchange, so it's always a good idea to give it a name. We'll then want to copy our API key and our secret and paste them in the boxes. If you selected testnet, make sure to check this box. Now we'll go next and we are all complete with the exchange setup. One final note, if you chose to trade on the testnet, you will need to fund your account with test funds. To do that on Bybit, you'll need to click on the yellow support button down at the bottom right corner of the dashboard. This will open up a chat frame where you can ask for uh, test funds to be deposited into your account. You'll just select your language, and then you'll select test coin deposit. It'll ask you if your testnet was created uh, before or after October, you can say yes. Uh, and then it'll walk you through how to get funds.